Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Ethos Edge diagnostic tool and covers the use of scanner data in Parameter ID View, also known as PID View. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. The scanner data display shows live data parameter information from the vehicle control module. To access live data, select Data Display from the Scanner main menu. Depending on the vehicle, this may open a sub-menu of viewing options. Remember, you can scroll down with the touch screen or keypad for additional selections. For this example, we will choose to view engine data from the sub-menu. A list of engine data parameters is shown along with a brief description of each parameter. The data appears in a digital text format on the right called PID view. The data values refresh as the vehicle sends new data. The speed may vary depending on the speed of data being sent from the vehicle and the number of data parameters being shown. Scroll down to see all available data parameters. Here are the rest of the engine data parameters for this vehicle. The data is continuously recorded for all available data parameters. After 4,000 frames are recorded, new data is recorded and overwrites the oldest frames of data. The pause icon indicates live data from the vehicle is being displayed. Selecting the pause icon stops data collection and freezes the data display for closer examination and review. When viewing paused or recorded data, the left and right arrows move forward and back one data frame at a time. Holding down an arrow accelerates the movement. The position indicator, or slide control, can also be used to navigate to any part of the recorded data. You also have the option to clear the data buffer and start over. This is useful when vehicle conditions change and you want to record and view new frames of data. Use the record icon to restart data recording at any time. You can choose data parameters you want to see together on one screen. Just highlight any parameter and select the lock icon to lock it on the top of the screen. Scroll down and lock to select additional parameters. This enables you to see relationships between data parameters. Simply select the lock icon again to unlock a parameter. The custom data list function gives you even more power to customize the view. Selecting the custom data list check mark opens a menu for selecting parameters to display. Check marks to the left of the parameter description indicate which parameters are selected for display. Here we see the Select All icon. Use it to hide or display all the parameters. Touch to deselect all data parameters in the list. Touch a parameter to add it to the custom data list. Touch it again to delete the check mark and delete the parameter from the list. Select as few or as many as you want. When you have created your custom data list, use the back arrow or the N key to return to the data display and view the list. Custom data lists can significantly accelerate the speed of the data displayed by processing only the vehicle data that you need to see, so you can find tough intermittent failures faster. The sort function is another handy way to find and view the parameters you need. Select the sort icon to sort the list by the factory default sort order from A to Z or Z to A. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.